Hi all, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm showing off Wayfinder. I'll be going over the massive changes the game has gone through, which are honestly on a level we don't often see in games. I'll end the video with my thoughts on whether you should play this game. Wayfinder is releasing as an offline co-op action RPG instead of an MMO. After a rough launch and their break with Digital Extremes, they decided that this was the best way forward. They tried to work with another publisher to keep Wayfinder as an MMO, but didn't find anyone interested. That's why they will now self-publish it as a single player with optional co-op action RPG. Yes, that means the always online requirement is removed. This situation honestly reminds me a bit of Kingdoms of Amalur, which was originally in development as an MMO, but eventually released as a single player action RPG. Before I go into the specifics, let me explain what Wayfinder actually is or is going to become. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. It would be really appreciated. Wayfinder is a hub-based action RPG that you can play with up to three friends. You work through a story, do dungeons, kill bosses, improve and change your gear while choosing talents. Think of Warframe as a basis, but now more as a traditional action RPG like Diablo or Path of Exile. Now let's go over the other changes quickly to not waste too much of your time. First, the removal of online will obviously highly increase the performance of the game, which is always great. They say there won't be any microtransactions and no in-game purchases. The game will have a one-time price of $24,999 in early access and will go up after launch. If they continue to support the game after launch, then I doubt they won't add any in-game purchases and microtransactions, but let's see. Now let's go over some gameplay systems. Weapons and armour will drop now, making it much more interactive and feel more rewarding. Armour now has stats, and you can actually connect the thousands of cosmetic items and housing items. You don't have to grind for new characters anymore either. There are also four difficulty levels added, and the game now has talent trees. Last but not least, there will be a new Wayfinder and an Overland Zone that's three times the size of the last. All these changes go live on May 31st for everyone who already bought the game. Then from June 11th, the game will be on sale again for everyone else. They also announced the Xbox Series X and S version, and a PlayStation 5 version. Owners of the PlayStation 4 version will get a free update, and after that, it will be discontinued. For my first impression, I think you should definitely play this game. Honestly, I always loved this game because it was just super fun to play. The combat was super impactful and dynamic, and upgrading your character made a difference. For example, with Silo, you not only shoot, but also have an active reload, and when you hit weak spots, you do more damage. At the same time, you need to stay out of range as much as possible by using your enemies properly, and then on top of that, you need to time your AoE properly for maximum impact. That is already what happens at a low level. At a higher level, especially when enemies get harder, it becomes even more awesome to play. On top of that, the game looks great, and there is tons of stuff to grind, farm and progress in the game. Now, as a single player with optional co-op game, it's just much easier to get into, and the addition of talent trees and now weapon and armour drops will make it feel less of a grind, even besides the fact that they decrease the overall grind. So yes, you should definitely play it, of course, if you like action RPGs. Is it perfect? Of course not, especially in terms of stability. I hope they will still improve it. But this game is just so much fun that it is currently my most anticipated game of the year when it gets its full release at the end of 2024. That was it for my video on Wayfinder. I would love to hear what you think. Are you planning to play this game? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.